Well, no one saw that coming. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unexpected hero deaths. So we're not going to fight anymore. We're going to pull together, and we're going to find a way to get out of here. First, we're going to seal off this room. For this list, we'll be looking at the most surprising deaths involving one of the main characters in a movie. For the purposes of this list, we'll be including deaths that seemingly happen out of nowhere and are completely unpredictable in regards to the scene itself and the overall story. The deaths also have to be final, so fake deaths like the Infinity War ending will not count. Tony. There was no other way. Number 10. John H. Miller – Saving Private Ryan There are a lot of brilliant filmmaking techniques utilized in the death of Miller. The first is the bait-and-switch at the beginning and the ending of the movie. In the beginning, the film transitions from an elderly man at the cemetery to a young Tom Hanks, making it seem like the grave triggered a memory within Miller. However, Miller is killed in the climactic battle, and we learn that the older man is actually Ryan. The death scene itself is also wonderfully filmed as we impassively watch the shooting from the German soldier's point of view. For us, Miller is the hero and protagonist of the story. For the German soldier, he's just another American to kill. What, sir? James. Earn this. Earn it. It's a horrific comment on the inhumanity of war. And you are the mother of five sons who have died gloriously on the field of battle. I feel how weak and fruitless must be any words of mine that would attempt to beguile you from the grief of a loss so overwhelming. Number nine, Chad Feldheimer, Burn After Reading. This isn't one of the better Coen Brothers movies, but it contains the most unexpected death in a Coen original. I know who the guy is. The guy? The guy. The secret guy. We grow to love Chad throughout the first half of the movie. He's funny, he's personable, and he's played by the always charismatic Brad Pitt. Your empty little head would be spinning faster than the wheels of your Schwinn bicycle back there. You think that's a Schwinn? No! <laughs> Surely this movie won't contain anything too graphic or dramatic. Wrong. After breaking into the Cox household, Chad is surprised to see Harry return from a run and hides in the bedroom closet. And when Harry opens the closet, viewers get one of the most surprising and graphic shootings in recent movie memory. <laughs> It serves as some major mood whiplash compared to the earlier half of the movie, and it proved that anything could happen moving forward. Number 8. Llewellyn Moss – No Country for Old Men I don't come back, you tell mother I love her. Your mother's dead, Llewellyn. Well, then I'll tell her myself. This Cohen-directed story is arguably even more surprising than Burn After Reading, but it comes from the mind of author Cormac McCarthy. Hey, Mr. Sporting Goods. Hey, yourself. You sport. Yeah, it's me. I got beers in my room. Just when things are looking up for Llewellyn Moss, he's killed completely off screen. All we see is the immediate aftermath from Bell's point of view, including the fleeing perpetrators and Moss's dead body. No Country for Old Men is not only a brilliant subversion of the typical crime caper, but storytelling rules in general. What other story has the gall to kill its primary protagonist off screen? It speaks to the senselessness of violence and death a common theme of McCarthy's, and it proves that the world doesn't care who the good guy is. I'm not on the radio. Number 7. Quicksilver – Avengers – Age of Ultron The Marvel Cinematic Universe is often criticized for being relatively risk-free and vanilla in regards to its storytelling. Unlike No Country for Old Men, the good guys always win. They think order and chaos are somehow opposites and 
try to control what won't be. But there is grace in their failings. But Age of Ultron proved the exception when it permanently disposed of Pietro Maximoff, aka Quicksilver. Quicksilver suddenly perishes while protecting Hawkeye and an innocent child from Ultron's gunfire, and his dying words to Hawkeye speak to us as well. He didn't see that coming. We definitely didn't see it coming. Not only is Quicksilver's death surprising within the context of the scene, but it proved that the MCU wasn't afraid of killing off superheroes. Yeah, we had only just met him, but still, we're suckers for a good sacrifice. Number 6. Black Widow – Avengers Endgame As the title suggests, Endgame served as the culmination of 22 movies worth of story. She's got everything that I need. Rule number one, never take your eye off your opponent. Oh my god! Happy! Black Widow first appeared back in Iron Man 2 and served as a major force within the Avengers throughout the following decade. Unfortunately, her story and life came to an end in Vormir when the Red Skull demanded a personal sacrifice in return for the Soul Stone. What you seek lies in front of you, as does what you fear. Black Widow chooses to be that sacrifice, pushing herself off a cliff to her death. No. Please, no. Perhaps even more surprising than the death itself is seeing Romanoff's bloodied corpse at the base of the cliff. The movie had to prove that Romanoff was dead. Without that horrific image, we may never have believed that the MCU had killed off a major component of the Avengers. Number 5. Casey Becker – Scream Casey isn't a main character, but the movie made us believe that she was. Hello? Why don't you want to talk to me? Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. <laughs> I don't think so. What's that noise? Popcorn. Drew Barrymore was already an established actress at the time, and she was featured heavily in the movie's promotional material. Without reading spoilers, audiences would think that she was the protagonist of the story. But then she's brutally murdered about 10 minutes into the movie. Get the car. The opening scene was deemed an instant classic, and it helped give the impression that any character could die at any moment. It was a magnificent move by the movie's marketing department, and it's too bad that her death has become a well known piece of pop culture. I want to play a game. No. Then he dies no. right now. Now everyone knows the twist and its impact is noticeably lessened. Number 4. Wash. Serenity. Yes. This is a fertile land and we will thrive. We will rule over all this land and we will call it... This Land. Firefly came back in 2005 in the form of Serenity and it had the absolute nerve to kill off Wash. Not only did they kill him off, but they killed him off in the most out-of-nowhere fashion possible. Wash navigates the Serenity through some crossfire and ends up crashing it near the broadcast tower. We are led to believe that all is well. That is, until he's suddenly impaled to the chest by a reaver spear. I'm a leaf on the wind. The incident is so sudden and unexpected that it may even cause you to jump in surprise. And just like that, in a matter of literally one second, the fan favorite character was dead. Baby, no. Baby, come on, you gotta go. Come on, we gotta move. Baby, please. You gotta move, baby, come on. It's a really gutsy move, but what good is storytelling without some guts? Number three, Howard Ratner, Uncut Gems. Deep down, we knew that things wouldn't work out for obsessive gambler and risk taker Howard Ratner. Give me 50 G's. Just float it to me. I'm gonna give you $25,000, but I want an 8% big on the ring. 8%? But his death still came as a complete surprise. The climax of Uncut Gems is pure filmmaking magic. It makes a simple basketball game more exciting and suspenseful than even the best sports movies. As the game goes on, the cheerful music rises, Howard gets more excited, and even Arno starts coming around. All right, that's it, that's it! Thank you. 
that's it, okay? That's two profits, done! Meanwhile, Phil grows more incensed, and when Howard wins $1 million, we think just maybe that the movie will have a happy ending after all. And then Phil shoots Howard in the face simply for inconveniencing him. One look at Phil's face told us all we needed to know. We just didn't want to believe it. Well, you'll wind up next to me, Andy. Number two, Billy Costigan, The Departed. Throughout The Departed, Leonardo DiCaprio's Billy Costigan goes undercover to infiltrate the Boston mob. You want to serve the Commonwealth, this is your chance. We need you, pal. You've already pretended to be a Costigan from South Boston. Every weekend, Sergeant. Meanwhile, Matt Damon's Colin Sullivan is groomed by mob boss Frank Costello and placed as a mole within the Massachusetts State Police. School's out. Thank you, Frank. You earned it. No more pencils, no more books. The movie serves as a giant rat race as each attempts to figure out the other's identity. And just when Billy finally catches Colin, he is promptly shot in the head by another mole within the department. The perpetrator remains off screen during the shooting, which of course makes Billy's death even more unpredictable and utterly stunning as a result. Colin speaks for us all with his flabbergasted reaction. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions that will also make your jaw drop and potentially make you cry a few tears. Luke Glanton, The Place Beyond the Pines. Luke's death completely changes the trajectory of the story. Look, don't tell him about me, okay? Carolyn Fry, Pitch Black. At least we got more Riddick out of her sacrifice. <laughs> Cyclops, X-Men, The Last Stand. Well, that's one way to open your superhero movie. I want to see your eyes. Take these off. <laughs> Trust me, I can control it now. Aaron Mears, Contagion. She was supposed to save the world from the virus, not die from it. <laughs> Leslie Burke. Bridge to Terabithia. Talk about proving the senselessness of death. It's all gone. <sighs> Is it like the Bible says? Is she going to hell? I don't know everything about God, but I do know he's not going to send that little girl to hell. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Marion Crane, Psycho Psycho was released back in 1960, and yet Marion Crane's unforeseeable death at the hands of Norman Bates has yet to be topped. Like Scream, Psycho manipulated audience expectations. By this point, Alfred Hitchcock was renowned for his grounded thrillers. Psycho didn't seem any different, as Crane stole money from her boss and went on the lam. Yes, Mr. Lowry. Carolyn, Lion's still isn't in? No, Mr. Lowry, but then she's always a bit late on Monday mornings. Buzz me the minute she comes in. We'll call her sister. No one's answering at the house. Typical Hitchcock stuff, and then that happens. None of the marketing hinted at this departure. And Hitchcock even enforced an unusual no-late admission policy so Janet Lee fans wouldn't leave the theater feeling duped. The twist made movie history. People didn't even know you could do something like that. And that's why Hitchcock is the undisputed master of the unexpected. agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.